Buy Windows 10 Professional for $15, activate instantly online with Microsoft, and keep it forever. Don't pay full price. Get the best deal from our sponsor, URCD Keys, using our link in the video description below. Full details on how this amazing deal works at the end of the video. I talked about this a couple weeks ago. You did. And at the time, the rumors were the entire 14th gen was going to get an increase in core count. It turns out some of it is getting an increase in core count and some is not. Unfortunately, it's more of the not than the yes. Then is <sighs> Intel Core i7 14700K CPU with 20 cores spotted running at 6.3 gigahertz on MSI Z690 motherboard. It actually just came out today. Yeah, these are freshly leaked benchmarks that have enough detail that says, yes, they, these, this really is a thing. So the i7 14700K is getting four additional e-cores. Now, if I scroll down to the chart here, you can see the 12700K mm -hmm. is eight plus four, mm -hmm. the 13700K is eight plus eight, and the 14700K is eight plus, plus 12. 28 threads. Here's what's cool about this. On the 13th gen, the i7, I've not recommended the i7 as a general rule. Now, the 12700K on sale on Prime Day was different. Yes. But... That was on a deal. That was 200, 200 bucks. bucks. I mean, okay, sure. You know, you make anything the right price, I'm interested. A 7800X3D for 200 bucks would be my number one recommendation. Mm. I know, everybody's shocked. So, with the 13th gen, $300. Now, I understand some of you watching are outside the United States. Yep. These, my advice and prices are based upon U.S. prices. And I, I get so many comments on YouTube from people saying, well, I just don't agree with you because the XYZ is too expensive. What country are you in? Uh, Albania. Well, oh, okay. <laughs> um, fair enough. But I don't give advice based on Albanian prices. Nope. I'm not even sure where Albania is on a map. I, I know where a lot of countries are, but it's vaguely southern-ish, European-ish, maybe? It's out there. It's, it's not in America. That's what matters. No, it's not. So, I'm terribly sorry to everybody who lives in Albania. $300 for the 13600K. Yep. $400 for the 13700K. And 550 dollars for the 13900K. So, 300 400 550. It's a $100 jump to go from the 13600 to the 13700. And I have gotten dozens and dozens of replies on YouTube, comments on Twitter from people saying, dude, why don't you recommend the 13700K? It's got eight performance cores. It's 400 bucks. It's reasonable. That's really the deal. And I'm like, I don't agree. Because the 13600K has six P cores, but eight E cores. And the 13700K has eight P cores and eight E cores. They're only two P cores difference, but they both have eight E cores. And as many people love to forget, those E cores are faster than a Ryzen 7 2700X. They are almost as fast as a Ryzen 7 3700X. So anybody who says the E cores aren't real cores, uh, you should try using them. Yeah, okay. We had a comment in the last stream, somebody said, that, quote, everybody they know disables their e-cores. What did you buy Intel for then? <laughs> I mean, then you just, anyway. So it's $150 more to go from the 13700K to the 13900K. But you go from 16 cores to 24. So it's a two core gain from i5 to i7. And it's an eight core gain going from i7 to i9. Now, I am fully aware that those are e-cores. But for $150, you are essentially gluing a Ryzen 7 3700X Just. onto your CPU and buying yourself future. Yeah. You're buying yourself another year or two at some point in the future where you don't have to upgrade where other people are. How many comments, sweetheart, have we gotten from people over the years who bought like an i5 9600K, six core, six thread, and they said, if I had just bought the i9, I wouldn't have to have upgraded. Yep, a lot. And they upgraded to like a Ryzen 7 3700X or 5800X 
because the i9 was too expensive because the top end Intel chip never d doesn't lose its value. Those are still going for 300 bucks. Correct. So they bought the i5 because all the reviewers said you don't need more for gaming. Well, I actually don't necessarily agree even back then, but let's say we did agree. Mm -hmm. Great. So it lasted like a hot minute, like spoiled milk before you need to replace it. Correct. So if you just go ahead and spend the extra money, now what's the price difference between the i7 and the i9? 150 bucks. Mm -hmm. But we're talking about 450 to 500. Anybody in the market for a $450 CPU should at least consider the $500 chip. Yes. That is not a reach. It's, it's more money, it may not be worth it, but that's not like, oh God, it's double the price. Now, motherboard, RAM, storage, you're building a PC. Correct. Is that $150 to buy you the best chip of the generation? To buy you eight additional cores, higher overall clock speeds without having to overclock, relative to the machine you're building, really that big of an ask? No. My argument, is if any particular user says, I just don't think I'm the kind of user that needs all that. That's a bit much for me. I say, okay, that's fine. No, absolutely not. Not everybody needs an i9. Correct. Buy the i5. For people concerned about money, people building mid-range machines, mm -hmm. the i5-13600K is a killer deal. And so the, I have found that the i7-13700K has been sort of like a a CPU in search of a mission. Buy the i5, buy the i9, skip the middle. Now, that changes with the 14700K because now they're bridging the gap with more e-cores. Correct. Assuming the prices are the same, 300, 400, 550 for the 14th gen chips, I actually now would recommend the 14700K. Save the 150 and go. For 150 bucks, four extra e-cores would not be worth it. It's not exciting, no. Except there's one little detail. What is an i7-9700K worth versus a 9900K? What is an i9-10900K worth versus an i7-10700K? You mean resale on the other end if you resell. Some people don't. So Yeah, if you... Uh, thank you. You're right. If you resell, if you sell your stuff later on, mm -hmm. what is an i7-7700K worth today versus an i5-7600K? How many of you would be shocked to know that right now, an i7-7700K, four core, eight thread mm -hmm. chip from 2017 is still worth nearly $150. It is. Which is ridiculous. <laughs> it is ridiculous. It is. So, depending on price, maybe buy the i9 anyway, because it'll be the last and best chip of the platform, and then you just... Well, then there's that. So... If you resell... It just depends on what's important to you. But to anybody who says, well, I, I don't really sell my parts, I give them to a friend, or I, I, I downgrade it to my second machine, or I'll make it my media PC, if, you, if you're going to keep it like 10 years and it's going to like move down your list of computers, buy the i7, it's fine. For, does that make sense? Yeah. What do you want to add to that entire spiel of chips? What do I want to add? Oh my gosh. Is the whole chart down there? Yeah, 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 yeah. You've got, you've got every. I mean, look at them. They got K's, KF's. Dear God, Intel. Well, I mean, this is stupid. Overclock, no integrated graphics. Wow, that's just. Why would you? I know why they do it, but an i9 14900 non K. And then they have a non-KF. There yes. are four different... Yep. There's not even a hundred bucks difference. One, two, three, four. There's four. Yeah, there's four. One, two, three, four. Here, let's have a 65-watt, 24-core chip. That makes sense. Not that these wattages mean anything. They don't, but, you know. I'll give you a guess. I'm sure you know the answer. Oh. Why do the non-KI9s exist? The non-K? Yes. Why does an I9-14900 nothing exist? To hit a price point? They're not even a hundred bucks difference. For people who don't want to overclock? Dell. Oh, the Dell? Intel sells more CPUs to Dell Dude, than they sell retail box. <laughs> We're showing our age by laughing at that joke. <laughs> that, yeah, you know that, that, that spiel's almost 20 years old there's now? There's some people out there that appreciate that, though. 
Intel sells more CPUs to Dell than all their boxed chips combined. So why have the F? Why take the integrated graphics out? Who needs that? Defective chips. Oh. If they've got a chip that has working cores but a non-working iGPU, then if yeah. Dell is going to build one of their lovely craptastic Alienware boxes, It'll, okay. they don't need integrated graphics. Gotcha. And so if Intel sells it to them for $5 less, Dell will take the $5. True. Okay. And then the KF? <laughs> Overclock it, but don't have integrated graphics. It's got more letters. It must be better. Okay. Mm, this okay. is just... I'm just, Four I7s. I'm just waiting for KFC. <laughs> Ooh, food. So we've got 20 cores, 28 threads. Sadly, the i5s, uh, this I'm really disappointed. I was really, really excited to see the i5 get eight, eight P cores. That would have been pretty cool. And guess what? <gasps> An i3? It's still just four cores, eight threads. Wow. And then they've got the Intel 300 2.4. That's the uh, Pentium chip. Which Why? I mean, is it the Dells again? What? Why? There's a larger market than the West. Oh. Indonesia exists. India exists. That's why. People just have to stop buying them. Those can be had very cheaply overseas and in a different economic environment than we exist in. Choices, everything looks different. 80 bucks? Well, and it won't be that much over there. I mean, they'll make deals in various places to move. Fair enough. But why even, I don't know. I mean, I hear you. Yep. What else do you want to say about this? Well, there's nothing else to say. We'll just have to wait for the pricing and then... Here's an interesting question. Coming down to the comment section, it would be nice to upgrade to 14700K from my 12700K on the same motherboard. People, if you get a 12700K, I argue go to the 14900K or don't bother, but I mean, okay. All you're doing is adding the e-cores and yeah, it's a little faster. Um, why would you have to upgrade your DDR5? Why? why? No, you don't. That's just... It's technically an upgrade path. Don't know. Looking for a Windows 10 or 11 product key, but you don't want to spend $100 to $200 for it? Our sponsor, URCD Keys, provides discounted Windows keys at amazing prices. $15 for Windows 10 Professional, $21 for Windows 11 Professional, and just $60 for Microsoft Office 2021 Professional Plus. These product keys are the real deal. They activate directly with Microsoft Online, link to your Microsoft account, and they work forever. For Windows, you simply go to Settings, Update and Security, Activation, click Change Product Key, paste the key provided by URCD Keys, and in seconds, you're activated with Microsoft. For Office, go to setup.office.com, sign in with your Microsoft account, paste the product key provided by URCD Keys, and then download Office 2021 Pro Plus directly from Microsoft. Remember to use the discount code TD20 to save 25% off the already deeply discounted prices and support our channel at the same time. We have been using product keys from URCD Keys for almost five years now without any issues and encourage you to do so as well.